Ooh, part of the last bits of an old abandoned loony bin on Roosevelt Island. Just pure curiosity. Well, this is the fun views from Roosevelt Island, Queens. There's Queens. Where? Wait. Can I can I videotape yeah, you, you on this one? Uh, it's like wait wait. Where do you go to find a uh, Where do you go to find a bride in New York? Queens. <laughs> if you get that, you, you get, get extra awesome. pro you get extra points. You get awesome points. <laughs> wait, the, what whole area is Queens? This don't not me. Just hand. This whole area is Queens, right here. Where you see the Pepsi Cola sign and those large buildings right there, that is called Long Island City. Ah, in fact, those are new buildings. They have a nice little park, waterfront park. Mm -hmm. Long Island City basically goes from those buildings and comes all the way up here to right about here where the bridge is. Mm -hmm. You'll also see over here, you'll see something that looks like uh, cup, the yeah. sign that is Silver Cup Studios. One of the only major studios here on the East Coast with multiple stu uh, multiple um, uh, sound stages where several uh, productions can be working on that studio more than one time. Hmm. Then, past the bridge, past the bridge, you see a lovely power plant. Um, Yay! <laughs> past the bridge, going farther down, and even past that red bridge, is what is called Astoria. Now, many people who move to New York live in Astoria. Why? For several reasons. Okay. One, it's cheaper, but that's changing. <laughs> Number two, it's more like the suburbs. Rock if you're the not, suburbs. If you're not... If you if you want to live in New York, but still think you're in the suburbs of your little town, you move to Astoria. <laughs> mm. Also, they have a pretty uh, short commute system to Midtown Manhattan. Cool. Commute time is 20 minutes. End scene. Stuff that's going on. Nice little basketball court. Playground. There's the power plant up close. <laughs> and the red bridge in Astoria, some way, somewhere down that way. <laughs> what bridge are we on? Well, we're on a big red bridge walking into Astoria. There's the power plant. <laughs> And of course, rushing water beneath us. But I feel like on this side, they they kind of really don't want you to jump. <laughs> Where are we now? Long Island City. What's the name of the park? Mm, I don't remember. You don't remember at all? Well, we're smacked up across from the UN from what you tell me. You know, we really don't need to sunbathe <laughs> too hard. We tend to have a natural tan. I don't know, the little cafe in the back said the gantries. I wish we could sit in a hammock. So this is where you were before. walking around earlier in, where was I? Oh yeah, you know, I was on a Roosevelt Island, my sister had to go to work, and now I'm hanging out at the Southwest Porch at Bryan Park, which apparently is something where Southwest, built, Southwest Airlines built this porch at Bryan Park because 
as a way to say like, hey, we're now in New York and kind of spread their brand out. It's really nice. Well, you can't see the little logo right there. Back of Waiters thing has Southwest.com. Southwest porch. You can see it on the Waiters thing. <laughs> um, it's pretty nice. It's not really expensive. The most expensive thing on here are alcoholic drinks, so of course if you're not 21, you're not going to buy it. Um, they serve breakfast items all day, so if you're trying to go for something extremely cheap, food-wise, you can do like a, um, you could do some granola with milk or do it with for like three dollars. <laughs> and the most expensive food items are the chicken breast sandwich or the roasted turkey, grapefruit, avocado, radish an organic green salad. Well, the same with the chicken the chicken breast, it's not just chicken breast. It's chicken breast with grilled mushrooms and onions, green olive tapenade and fontina. Ooh, on a grilled country bread. That sounds delicious, but I went a little bit cheaper. I got a breakfast item, which in my mind it sounds like such a fatty thing, but it was actually really delicious. Smoked ham, avocado and butter sandwich. Um, a baguette for four ninety five. So I mean, it wasn't too bad. They also have a soup, half soup, half sandwich item for like eight ninety five. Little kids menu for six fifty. They've got other little minor snacks. You can see the logo on the top, right? Ah, on um, right there. Yeah, it's fuzzy right there, but you know, beer. Like I said. Full bar, some specialty cocktails, champagne. The cheapest, cheapest item on the little snacks thing is popcorn. Popcorn that you can do with butter and parmesan, ancho, chili, and lime, or cinnamon and sugar. And their most expensive snack item, which is kind of also the most expensive food item technically, is make your own s'mores, which serves two to four people. <laughs> Thank you. I decided to add a fresh freeze cranberry juice to it because I don't want to move. I'm too tired. <laughs> um, I'm pro well, I will eventually move. I'm going to wander off to like Old Navy or someplace to get to do a little shopping. Oh yeah, H&M is on 59. Maybe I'll go there.